Hey guys, so if you have both Mac and Windows and you have one external hard drive for file storage and backups, then you will have a problem because the Windows supports NTFS file system whereas the Mac supports the HFS and with High Sierra it supports APFS file system. So there is a bit of a clash. So in this video I am going to show you how you can use one external hard drive both with Windows and Mac including partitioning uh, the hard drive for time machine backups yes it is a good idea to partition the hdd for time machine because uh, you can take backups of the mac machine and uh, you can restore whenever you want if you didn't know just in case so let's begin the video so first up i want to show you that i am running the mac os high sierra the latest version which is the 10.13.3 as you can see and uh, here is my uh, system information and now you can also see that uh, there is a one HDD plugged in as you can see and this is about 500 GB hard disk now the first thing you want to do is open up spotlight and uh, search for disk utility and here you can see that uh, the HDD is detected here make sure that you already backed up your HDD somewhere else because uh, this process is going to erase the entire data so do keep that in mind now go to the menu and here click on the view and uh, click on show all devices i missed this one simple step and uh, i had to struggle for about four hours to figure out what went wrong because uh, the problem is that if you don't click on show all devices the option to partition the device is grayed out as you can see here if you encountered this same problem or came around this video searching for that solution then do not forget to like this video guys. Anyway moving on select the root directory of your HDD as you can see it is highlighted in the blue and uh, now you need to click on erase and you will see this menu. Now I am going to change the name to something like this and uh, also if you do not want any time machine backups then you can simply go with xfat and uh, you can click on erase and uh, the job is done that's it you don't need to continue watching the video and uh, but if you want to have the time machine backups uh, and if you want to create a partition in the HDD for time machine backups then you need to uh, follow these uh, steps so click on uh, the uh, Mac extended journal and then below you click on the GUID partition map now go ahead and click erase this will basically partition your HDD in uh, the APFS file system which is basically compatible with Mac OS and uh, as you can see here it is formatted now now the next step is to partition the HDD for uh, the time machine backups now go ahead and click on the partition option and here you will see this screen now here you can uh, give a name so here I am going to give a name something like this now choose uh, the Mac OS extended journal because this is for the time machine backups and here my MacBook Air which is only 128 GB so I am going to give 130 GB for my time machine backups you can give as much as you like according to your requirement now this is how you go ahead and click on the apply and click partition and uh, that's pretty much it now you will have your new partition compatible for time machine backups as you can see on the left you will see the time machine backup partition and also you will see the untitled now this untitled is uh, the unallocated space that is to be formatted now for the file storage which is uh, used with both windows and mac so now go ahead and again click on the partition and this time you need to select the XFAT because uh, the XFAT is basically compatible with both Windows and Mac as I said earlier and go ahead and give a name and that's it click on again erase and uh, that's it now you can see that there are two partitions one for the time machine backups and the other for the file storage which is compatible with both Windows and Mac so now you can see that my HDD has two partitions as you can see one for the time machine and the other for the backup. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you liked it. Please like, share, subscribe and comment. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you soon.